So now let's try to find a Taylor series expansion of e to the x, and this time at a equals 1. So this is going to be a power series centered at 1, and of course we need to calculate the derivatives of f of x and evaluate them at 1. So once again, all of the derivatives of f of x are e to the x, and when I evaluate them at 1, I get e to the 1, which is e. So the nth derivative of f at 1 is always e in this case, no matter what n is. So now the Taylor series for f at a equals 1 is given by the sum from 0 to infinity of the nth derivative of 1 over n factorial times x minus 1 to the n. So this is f of 1 plus f prime of 1 times x minus 1 plus the second derivative at 1 over 2 factorial times x minus 1 squared, etc., etc. And when I plug in e for the nth derivative at 1, I get that this is equal to e plus e times x minus 1 over 1 factorial plus e times x minus 1 squared over 2 factorial, etc., etc. So the Taylor series for e to the x at a equals 1 is the sum from 0 to infinity of e times x minus 1 to the n over n factorial. And of course I can pull that e out of every term, so it's e times the sum from 0 to infinity of x minus 1 to the n over n factorial. And to check the radius of convergence of this series, we can use the ratio test. When we calculate the limit as n goes to infinity of the n plus 1th term over the nth term, then it's the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of x minus 1 over n plus 1, and no matter what the x is, this is going to go to 0. So therefore, this Taylor series expansion of e to the x at 1 converges for all values of x, and its radius of convergence is infinity. And of course, we haven't shown yet that this is actually equal to e to the x.